Let's look at the market a little bit and see where the market is going and what is happening in the market. So in order to see that, let's look at TC2000 and see the SPY. So when you look at the SPY, what you are looking at is basically since 2022, November or December is when the market started correcting. And it's been almost a year plus 13 months, or like year plus three months or four months where the market has been correcting or is in a bearish territory, basically. Now, during that particular time period, there has been a couple of rallies, which were tradable rallies. In July, there was a tradable rally. That rally started uh, because the Fed chairman, uh, in a conference, sounded very dovish. And as a result, the market went up. Then the market again corrected. And since October, the market has had like this two legs or three legs where it has managed to go up to this level. And now, recent time, again, in January, there was a good tradable rally. Here, there was a good tradable rally for a couple of weeks. And now, today, you will see that there was a big down day on the indexes. Indexes where the SPY was down 1.5%, and the other indexes were also down. Uh, majorly, if you see IWM, IWM is also down 2% plus. If you see DI, it's down 1%. And if you look at the NASDAQ 100, you'll see that the NASDAQ 100 is also uh, down today around 1.89%. And the underlying buying or selling pressure is what you're interested when you're looking at these kind of things. And when you look at the underlying buying and selling pressure in this particular case, what you'll see today is that this was one of the biggest selling days in recent time. And how can you know that? Uh, if you look at the market monitor, which is monitors the breadth on a daily basis, you will see that today we had 80 stocks which are up 40% plus, but you had 646 stocks which were down uh, more than 4% plus. So that's a big particular, uh, that's a very big number. And as a result of this big number, sellers were in control today. Uh, this the implication of this is probably uh, in the near future for a couple of weeks at least it's more than likely that we are going to have a correction or a bearish phase and their bearish setups are likely to work more than a bullish setup so accordingly momentum burst to the downside might work for the next couple of weeks